Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 5th through the 11th of December, 2021. I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving and have had a good week. I am going to take just a quick second here just to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. If you find that that is your situation, um, go ahead and check your other signs and placements and see if those readings might resonate just a little better. Also keep in mind in a general reading that the energies can reverse or flip-flop. That is not at all unusual. Um, if you would like a personal reading, the, inner, or the uh, directions are in the box beneath this video. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Capricorn in love? Energy of Capricorn, please. Energy of Capricorn. Thank you. All right, Capricorn, you start out with the Two of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like um, you are kind of weighing out the um, pros and cons of a situation here. Um, trying to make a decision. I think you're trying to also be very flexible here. Um, it's about a situation that may not be working out the way that you had hoped. It's not really working the way that you wanted it to um, or the way you thought it would. So you're trying to be flexible, kind of in decision-making mode here. Um, and I feel like you're erring on the side of being generous with this, um, you know. But I, I also feel like, um, you know, be careful there, Capricorn, because you may have people asking more of you than, than they should be expecting. So, let's see who you are connecting with. Here, who is Capricorn connecting with? Wow, their cards are jumping. Goodness. Okay, so right off the bat, I do have to say their energy is um, like, like usually the cards don't jump like that. So there's that and um, very talkative, just so you know. All right, so they start out with the Queen of Wands. That is fire energy, which is Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. We also have the Three of Pentacles came out with the Knight of Swords. Um, let's see. And we also have, coming out together, the Page of Wands in the reverse, along with the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So, um, I feel like the person that you are connecting with here... Um, I feel like this person is um, very truthful as far as um, Gemini energy, by the way. But I feel like this person is very truthful as far as um, wanting to work at things. Because um, I see you have this energy that um, you may feel things aren't working the way you thought they would. This person is really trying to work, work at this connection. Um, they are being truthful about that. However, that being said, with the Queen of Wands in the reverse, I do feel that this person is not um, taking action. This person is kind of holding back with regard to action. In addition to that, this could be somebody that you have met through work. This could very well be somebody that you have met through work, um, a work-related um, situation or, or something of that nature. Um, doesn't have to be for everybody. But I do feel that they're being truthful with you. And I feel like um, if they haven't come forward to speak with you, something very truthful, they will. Now, there is something, though, 
that, that you might not be talking with this person right now. Um, either that or they're holding something back. There's something that they might not be telling you about, um, about an offer. It could be about money. It could be about a loss of money. Um, or about, you know, making this connection more. There's something here that they're not telling you. So there's something that they're being very truthful about. I think they're truthfully really working, you know, on something here. But there's something with regard to either making the connection more, um, like leveling it up. So if you're dating it, making it dating, making it more um, official, or if you're dating exclusively, getting engaged, that's what they're they're not telling you. They're not talking about, okay? Um, so when they do talk to you, I feel like they're being truthful, but I don't feel like they're putting the work in. They're not taking the action um, that you're, you were expecting either. So let's look and see the energy of the connection, Capricorn. Page of Cups. So this might be a newer connection. Yeah, this is, it has to do with love. It is a love connection. It could be a newer, newer love. Um, let's see what's directly affecting it. The King of Wands. So what's directly affecting it is somebody's willingness to take action. It could also be that um, this person could be a boss. This may be someone you have met through work, and this could be a boss. For some of you, this is the case, and you weren't expecting that. You may be considering um, quitting your job even. You may be trying to decide, you know, should you quit your job in, in order to be in this connection. Let's see what the outcome is. There is a, um, there definitely is a attraction here. There is a, um, like a mutual, um, a mutual spark of attraction here, but I feel like they're holding back. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords along with the Empress in reverse. So you're very worried about it. Um, and it's not moving forward because it's, uh, it's, it's just not growing. It's not moving forward and, and you're concerned. So this is how we end up the week with a lot of concern and worry and things kind of stagnating, not moving forward. Bottom of the deck is the seven of cups in the reverse. This is underlying energy. It does indicate that there has been confusion, but the underlying energy is that the confusion is being cleared up. It's being resolved. So let's figure this out, Capricorn. All right, so Spirit, why is the Two of Pentacles here for Capricorn? All right, we have the Nine of Rods and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so you're weighing up your pros and cons because this offer is moving very slowly. So there's some kind of an offer here that you're waiting for. And I feel like you, you've waited a while. You feel like you've overcome some stuff here. Um, but you feel like things are moving very slowly. You're trying to be flexible. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Seven of Swords. King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is what's affecting the connection. Okay, so... You may feel that somebody is avoiding action... It could be very simple. It could be that you feel that somebody is voiding taking action of, and that's why things are not working out. 
Um, you may also feel that somebody is not telling you the truth about taking action. If this is a if this is a boss that you're dealing with here and you've met this person through work, there could be, um, you may feel that this person is being a bit deceptive or that you both are being deceptive in that you're having this, um, this connection here within the workplace. But the deception is falling on the king of wands it's falling upon the boss whoever is the boss so let's see why the six of pentacles is here well, we have the lovers and we have the queen of pentacles hmm So, King of Wands may be married, and that's why things are moving so slowly. Um, if so, there is, uh, King of Wands will have a choice between two people. Things are moving very slowly. You're feeling very wounded. You're trying to decide what you should do. Um, this may, like I said, be somebody that you m met through work. Um, and if it's not, you may just be deciding that due to the deception that's here, things are not really working out. Um, if there is no third party energy here, what I'm seeing is that there is just a big decision here. You may feel that this person is a soulmate. You may feel that this person is somebody that you would like to marry. Um, and you would like to um, have a, a equal give and take with this person. So you may be deciding, you know, that you are gonna have to focus on your money right now or the connection for some of you. But I, I can see that um, you're, you're really in this decision-making mode, Capricorn. Let's look at their energy. Why is the Queen of Wands in reverse? Mm. Justice in reverse. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. So. Okay. So. You may not be seeing eye to eye with this person right now, Capricorn. Um, if this is a third party situation and this person is married, this person um, may be telling you that they're going to get a divorce. Um, you may have pulled away from this person or have threatened to pull away from this person. They're not taking action on it. Um, if this person has told you that they're going to be getting a divorce, they, they're not taking action on it. And so that's what's taking so long. Um, if there is no third party energy, they're not taking action, um, towards anything committed. This is a person who feels um, afraid of commitment. This is a um, person who is, you know, not going, they're going to feel put out by, by committing. Um, so this is somebody who might, if there's no third party action present, this would, the person you're dealing with, they, they feel like for some reason that it's wrong for them to take action towards commitment. If there is third party, this person is telling you that they're going to get a divorce, but they're not taking the action to do it. Uh, let's look at the next. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords, Five of Cups reversed, 
and Five of Swords reversed. So they talk about change. They talk a lot about change. Um, they are truthful about wanting to end the conflict between the two of you. And I feel like they, they have discussed that with you. They definitely do want to end the conflict between the two of you. And I also see with the Three of Pentacles that they are talking about building some kind of a foundation. Um, so they, they are more focused on building a foundation with you. And they will talk about that. They'll talk about that foundation. So let's look at the, let's see what it is that they're not talking about though. trying to figure out how to build that foundation all right so what they're not talking to you about we have the four of coins we have the page of cups and we have the tower in reverse okay so what they're not talking about is that they're still holding on to this other connection or it could be um, money that they're holding on to. Um, even though they've started something else. And this is somebody who's not behaving very maturely either because there's a lot of pages here. So this person is not behaving very maturely. They are trying to avoid a tower moment by holding on to either another person or holding on to their money, or holding on to their job. This person is holding on to something, and this is why they're not taking action. This is why they're not um, bringing this offer forward. So they're talking about building a foundation. They don't want conflict with you, and they do, you know, they're trying to figure out how to build a foundation with you, but they're not bringing forward a concrete offer to to do that they're not actually doing it and it's because they're holding on to something else either another relationship their money their job um there could be a child involved that could put, be the issue as well sometimes page of cups is a child but they're trying to avoid a tower moment if they bring forward that offer it's going to cause a destabilization of their current situation. And that's, they don't want their life upset. So that's why they're not acting. But that's causing an injustice to you. Why is the Page of Cups here? Queen of Wands. Eight of Cups. Okay, so there is love here. It could be new love. Um, but I do feel like with the Queen of Wands, this person is... Um, this person sees you as a good mate. There is also a... Um, there is also... They're powerfully attracted to you. There's a, a big attraction here. Um, there's a, a, a fire between the two of you, and it is a fiery um, connection. However, this person has walked away from this connection at some point. And that, it looks like that's the current state of things, is that this person has walked away from this connection. Um, why is the King of Wands here? Okay, we have the Emperor and we have the Page of Wands. 
Now we have the Empress in the reverse here. This could be a, a spiritual connection as well, um, but what is directly affecting the connection? Well, you're expecting this person to take charge and take action. Um, and again, this person, instead of acting like an emperor, which is what you're expecting, Capricorn, this person is showing up repeatedly as a page. Um, this person has every single page. Page of Swords, Page of Wands, twice. Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, twice. So they speak and um, love as a page, not as a a emperor um so what what is directly affecting the connection well their immaturity and you're expecting maturity um action taking action they're holding back action the two of you are not seeing eye to eye um they do see you as a perfect mate, and I think that this is a spiritual connection, but this person has a lot of growing up to do. So I expect this person um, will talk to you. It looks like they have walked away from the connection, but I think it's temporary. And I do think that, um, I do think that they're going to approach you and you'll hear from this person, but they're going to do it in a very immature way. Let's look at the outcome. Okay, so in the outcome, we have Eight of Swords and the Emperor. So it's a lack of growth, and it's very concerning, especially to to you capricorn um it's clarified with a chariot in reverse which again tells me things are not moving forward things are stuck um three of of um oh i'm sorry two of of uh rods in reverse and the hierophant in reverse so why is it stuck well because a direction hasn't been chosen um unable to choose a direction and unable to commit. So there's a lack of commitment. This person has a lack of commitment with regard to this connection. It's, it's going to be stuck um, and they're not choosing to move in a new direction. So it's keeping everything stuck here. And whereas it could be growing, it's not, it's not moving forward. It's not growing because of the lack of commitment. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So it does look like there, there is a lack of communication. Um, you're gonna hear from this person. They do have emotions for you, but this is a person who is immature. They're holding on to something from the past because they're trying to avoid an upset in their life. It looks as if you may have met this person and it was just an unexpected thing that occurred between the two of you. Um, they may have walked away and exited the connection, but you'll hear from them. Unfortunately, it's not going to move forward at least not in this week, but keep in mind, this is a weekly reading um, and you know, it can change very suddenly. So let's go ahead and see what the Oracle's cards say and see if that gives us any further clarification. Okay, so for you, Capricorn, we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So I would be very open and honest in discussing my feelings when you do hear from this person. And like I said, you will hear from them. Um, unfortunately, I do think that their energy is rather, um, rather immature. But you know what? Even in this card, look, she is approaching this person 
and they are turning away. So, you know, I mean, you can only take so much, right? And then for the person that you are connected with, it says trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, so I think the person that you're connected with here doesn't trust the situation. They don't trust that this connection is a soft place to land. Um, and they are trying to avoid this big upset in their life. And then for the connection itself, it says, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And I always say, Capricorn, that, you know, all healthy relationships begin with self-love first. So, you know, what if this person is not receptive, if they are not doing, you know, the right things by you, you do right by you. Okay, um, you can't control another person, but you always have control of you. So make sure you are doing right by you. All right, I hope this has been helpful, Capricorn. Um, if you would like and share the video, um, if you haven't already subscribed, I really do hope you will. I would greatly appreciate it. And also um, drop me a comment. I read all of them. So until I see you next week, namaste.